the FTX saga, the FTX drama finally coming to an end. That's right. Caroline Ellison was sentenced to two years today. That that doesn't really seem right. SBF was sentenced to, to 25 years. This was a massive exchange where there was a, over $11 billion lost. And all she got sentenced was two years. Welcome back, everyone. That's right. We are talking about FTX one last time. So for the people who may not know, FTX had like 130, well, specifically Sam Bankman Free, there was 133 different shell companies that were involved. Uh, there was just a whole bunch of losing trades. The the money wasn't there. The Bitcoin wasn't there. This was like the perfect example for, for self-custody and, and why you shouldn't leave your stuff on exchanges because the exchanges don't really have it. And unfortunately, you don't really find out they don't really have it until something terrible like this happens. And it did. And SBF, Sam Bankman-Fried, got 25 years. Um, and Caroline Ellison just got two years. Now, one of the news headlines from Benzinga indicates that she may have had some favor from the judge where the judge determined that she was extremely remorseful. But I think the bigger issue uh, here at play really is the comparison to, to Ross Ulbrich. Okay. Um, for the people who don't know who Ross is, he's the creator. He was the creator and operator of the Silk Road. Uh, and that was an open exchange, right? Where essentially anything, technically anything could be bought and sold. Um, and as a free and open marketplace, uh, let's just say that uh, the authorities paid a lot of attention to it and they did not like it. And keep in mind, Ross got life in prison and a penalty of $183 million plus. Keep in mind, he did not scam Tom Brady. He didn't scam Giselle Bunchen. He didn't scam Kevin O'Leary. Didn't scam Robert Kraft, right? And he didn't scam Robert Belfer. But yet, but yet, his free and open market was such a threat that they put him in jail for life. And yet, these two people, so keep in mind, right, he didn't scam anyone out of any billions, right? Like, there were no institutions, no, no retirements were lost, nothing like that, okay? Nothing at all like that. People were paying for services and products that they desired, but in the case of SBF and Caroline Ellison, they were scamming people. And look at what they got. Now, I believe that Caroline, at the very least, should be getting the same sentence as Sam Bankman Freed. I mean, they were accomplices together. Um, so that right there isn't fair. But also the point, uh, which which is really like this is this is not a justice system. This is very scary stuff, right? Because you see, the scam that they did is not a threat to the the current system and the current function that we have in our economy. But you see, that open market where where people could essentially buy and sell anything, this is a threat because truly, we're we're not really in an open system. And having an open market like that essentially illustrates that contrast. Anyways, um, hopefully, right, hopefully Ross gets out, gets to see the light of day. I really hope that this is the end of the FTX saga. I really hope that we don't ever have to talk about this again. I do believe that the sentencing was unfortunately not long enough for what it was that she actually did. But at the end of the day, what they did is no different than unfortunately quite a few companies have done in the past. And nobody is saying that jail time is easy. All right. Like that's nobody's saying that. But the point is, is that these two individuals in particular ruined many people's lives. Ross Albrecht only his life was ruined and his close family. Okay. So something to think about here. It, it's not fair. Anyways, we're, I, I, I guess like it, it sounds like whining, right? Like it's not fair. Um, life isn't fair, right? Like life isn't fair. We just need to take this as an illustration of uh, essentially like, look, th this is what we're dealing with, right? Like this was, a, this was a, you know, Ross Ulbricht and Silk Road was a threat to their power. 
Sam Bankman Fried and Caroline Ellison aren't, but but they had to be punished, and they had to be punished in a way that society, I guess, at large would accept, right? And so somehow this is this is more acceptable. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I will catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow.